that you left there. And I hope that's most of the talking today. Some competition. Okay. Only some. Thank you so much for uh, this uh, very clear introduction of the topic. I will recapitulate uh, with what uh, Dana said. And I will show you some sort of three uh, slides. After that, I have prepared one slide to explain but I don't show any uh, real results. But I will go through the aims. I will uh, discuss a bit and, uh, uh, where these uh, results can have a contribution. So why? Well, first of all, uh, I would say that uh, it's fun, <laughs> it's multidisciplinary, so I mean, it requires a lot of creativity. And I like this. I like to try to be creative person. But secondly, and I think most importantly, it's because he allows, he has the potential to alleviate human suffering and also to ameliorate the quality of life for several patients uh, worldwide. So he relies on, as uh, Professor Reina uh, told me before, he relies on three or main components. So stem cells, and Reina said why, because these cells, they can sense new, and if they receive the specific stimuli, they can become um, a specific cell type. So they can then, uh, as a useful function. But also one needs to use scaffolds, because the cells in uh, vivo, they are embedded in an extracellular matrix. Uh, and then conductive cues, which are the couple of the inductive cues, uh, uh, I mean, these chemical uh, growth factors, cytokines, and so on, that instruct, selectively instruct the cells to become something. And then I also call these uh, physiochemodynamic cues, because uh, in the body, the cells are subjected to these uh, gradients of uh, spatial and temporal gradients of the chemical and physical stimuli. That's why today, today people use bioreactors to know these constructs of stem cells in the scalp. So I call this the tissue to move quadri. Now, many people, uh, they, 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 they enjoy to do tissue engineering uh, all over the world, and I mean, there are very nice results so far, but we have not yet achieved the, the full potential there are no, for example, when it comes to bone, there are no products on the market. And uh, we have not really realized anything of uh, uh, clinical relevance, which is also introducing. 